And a very good morning to you boys and girls. Welcome to today's United Kingdom talk here on United Kingdom Radio. Uh, if you're watching us live, then you'll know it's just gone 11 o'clock on the very last day of September. The last day of September. How has that happened? Tomorrow it's October. I can't believe it. And today, in the Mirable studio with me, I am very proud and pleased to say that there is someone who is fatter than me. It's Terry Turner. Good morning, Terry. Good morning. And Terry's dressed very dramatically today. Could you just open, open that very... <laughs> he's, he's got a suit on. I do feel underdressed. Here I am, sitting in a pink shirt. It's very nice, though. Thank you. But I don't think it's as nice as your suit. You've got a suit on. Not only a suit, but very suitable for the occasion. A United Kingdom talk tie. A Union Jack tie that I must say I'm very impressed with, except for mm. a little bit of tomato yeah, sauce that's at the bit. top there. Just a little I bit. did notice because you had a sausage sandwich while you were waiting at the train station for me today, didn't you? Very nice as well. Reasonably priced was it? as well. How much was that then? It's uh, two seventy. Oh, that's not bad. And also, you bought this at Bracknell Station. Yes. And you had a very reasonable priced cup of tea, I hear. Yes, a pound. A pound for a cup of tea. Well, I wish it was like that in a certain place that I visited last week, boys and girls. I really do. But more about that in a minute. We've already got some messages coming in here. Welcoming you, Terry Turner. Thank you. Uh, where we are? Vicky Gannon. Good morning, Vicky Gannon in the US of A. Have you met? Have you seen Vicky on this? No. Week? Oh, I had a whole, whole tour of her place. She did me one of those Skype oh, yes. messages yep. with the camera. I saw her entire place. Beautiful, dear. You know, like the house in Dynasty? Yes. Well, it was nothing like that. Oh. <laughs> I was desperately searching for a chandelier, but I couldn't see one anywhere. Um, she says, good morning, Chris. Looking forward to listening to the show this morning. Listening via my iPhone on the way to work. Now, oh. you have an iPhone, don't yes, you? Yes, I let's do. Let's get it out of that pocket and let's have a look, darling. He's got an iPhone. If only I could afford such a thing, boys and girls. Look at this. An iPhone. Oh, how do you turn it on, dear? Little switch no at the top. pictures there. We oh, just press that, yep. do you? Oh, and it's got it's got Daleks. He's got Daleks. Oh, it's not very bright, is it? No, I, keep, I turn that down to keep the battery. Oh, yeah. How long do the batteries last on that thing? Um, I use that quite a bit, and that goes perhaps can go as soon as three hours, four hours. Oh, you're joking, really? But. But oh, you have a spare battery. I oh, have. Hark at Mister Sensible. He's got a spare battery in the pocket. A little. Oh, what's that? You plug that into the bottom. Yes. Uh, it's called a power jolt, and it gives you a, a certain amount of power. Ooh. But that, that's about, about twenty my, pounds. I'm tempted to put my tongue on this and give myself <laughs> a jolt of power. <laughs> Very useful in the morning. Why can't you get something like this that you can hey, use in the morning rather than those awful sugary? energy drinks mm. what are they called now one of them is um red something rather what is it? red bull red bull yeah god are there Don't the like people that. that knock those but and you know you know after a few of those they're shaking like leaves yeah here. oh yeah they're like oh, i mean they look like they're on drugs and now you can buy these little shots can't you yes. lucas aid shots but all it is is a little bottle of sugar mm. it can't be very good you might as well buy yeah, a bottle of... Take your of, power uh, jolt back, darling. Thank you. Is that you. plugged into you somewhere? Is it? Oh, it's a button you, on you it. Could tr yeah, that, that's... Is that plugged into you, lovey? Is it? Is it? <laughs> yeah, I'll show you where to shove it later. Oh, please don't. God's <laughs> sake. I've already been warned about you by Lee Mills. Oh, really? Oh, yes. He told me not to pick the soap up. I don't know oh. what he meant by that, really. Right. Anyway, back to Vicky's um, yeah. little message. Live Stop message. Stop diverting. I'm diverting, dear. More diversions here than on the M4. Um... Looking forward to listening. She's listening on her iPhone on the way to work. Enjoy the show and best wishes. Lots of love from Vicky. Here it is. Here it is. A message for you. Also look forward to hearing from Terry Turner. Well, I mean, he has barely stopped talking since we started the show this morning. I can barely get a word in edgeways. Um, I remember him from the morning music programme last spring. What was that then? I don't know. Oh, well, perhaps it was the um, your show. Music show. The Swish one? Mm. Oh, you were on there at the same time, weren't you? A couple you? of times. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. Uh, and she says, he always seems to be a nice fellow. Funny and smart. Well, you're certainly smart this morning, aren't Thank you? Thank you. Suit and tie and blue shirt. Very, very nice, dear. 
Oh, I wish I could afford nice clothes. Look at me. But I am... That is a nice shirt. I am dressed smart. I'm very jealous of that Thank shirt. you very much. Would you like this shirt? Oh, yes. Do you think it would Won't be my you? size, I though. don't think it would fit you, no. no. What size are you? Double uh, XL. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne's with us as well in Norwich. Is that near Huntingdonshire? Norwich? It's not far from us. How far is that? Hmm, bus ride away. Oh, OK. Fair enough. Not too far. He says, please check the camera, Chris, in case it needs to charge again. Now, we're, we're fully charged... And also, I have cleared the... Because the, the camera I use to record the shows is a little card. And um, it, it only holds up to two hours of whatever. And I, I forget to clear that. Mm. So it gets to the end and it goes, beep, beep, card full. Unlike my credit card, which seems to be oh. empty most of the time. Uh, uh, he says, shame. who do I remind to do the record button? You or Terry? Well, I've done that already. Don't worry, Wayne. Do not worry, lovey. Uh, audio fine today we're looking do you want a countdown well no we're, we're already we're, it's already it's all done and we're here and uh, I think that's all we've got so far yep there are all the messages coming in so far anymore no you can join in live by the way boys and girls um, if you're with us live if it's 7 minutes past 11 on Thursday the 30th of September 2010 if that's the time where you are now uh, then you are with us live and you can join in live by Skype. Our Skype username is all one word, United Kingdom Radio. OK, United Kingdom Radio is the Skype in number. And uh, we also have a phone in number. It's a local London number, 020 3287 1488. 020 3287 So, Terry... Mm. Nice journey. What time are you at? This is what you call dedication. This is what you call friendship, boys and girls. OK, would you like to tell me what time you left your house to come here to the massive Mirable Studios? Massive. Well, it's it more looks like, bigger than it is. It does look better. But as I say, have you ever been to a TV show? See a TV uh, show? I've been to local BBC. All right. Well, well, Local BBC uh, in? in Cambridge. What, TV? Yeah. OK. And that was absolutely minute. Yeah. It's surprising, really isn't it? Really small. Surprising, isn't it? A lot of the time, apparently, on these um, uh, TV shows and that, where you see all the background, certainly The X Factor, uh, I, I knew um, uh, a couple of the people that have been on. Daniel. Mm. Do you remember the mixed race guy, Daniel? No. Yes, you do, because he had all the hassle in the sun and oh, all the yeah. papers were yeah. after him and then said he was cocky and yeah. all that business. He actually wasn't. He used to come and sing at one of my karaoke nights um, when I was at the Black Cap, somewhere where I was worked for 18 years. And a lovely, lovely person. You know, he wasn't like that at all. Mm. And I knew Scott, Scott Bruton. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. I knew him as well. And um, they both told me that a lot of that set that you see on The X Factor is in fact green or blue screen, oh. whatever it is. Mm. And it doesn't exist. It is a computer picture that they project onto this thing behind us. Clever. It's all pretend, though. Not like here, dear. That is a real... Me Go on, touch it. I know you want to touch it. He's been here for a few minutes. And I could see him iron up the mirror ball. Go on, touch it. Oh, touch yeah. the famous mirror ball. Touch That's your it. rather large ball. There we are, darling. Look at that. Now, I didn't say to spin it round, did I? <laughs> You know, it's there, that's it's not, hanging. You've that's got to just spin now going to go backwards and forwards all the blooming time. Oh, you've got to rest. I noticed there's now my finger mark on there. Oh dear. Very disappointed. Anyway, I was trying to get yes, the word in S. He left his house at half past three this morning to get here. Now, mm. I don't know why you did that. Because I cannot believe half three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six. It doesn't take six hours to get here. Not even on the, not even by push bike, dear. <laughs> Did you come on a bike? No. How do you get on that saddle? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> come on. Why did you leave at half past three in the morning? Well, it's nice and simple, isn't it? Stop off somewhere, have breakfast. Just a minute. Hang on a minute. Have breakfast. I remember a certain text that came onto my phone at a quarter to nine this morning while I was desperately... I mean, the cat was so pleased because I got up early this morning. You know, she was so happy to spend an extra few minutes with me. In she's, bed. She is now sleeping on the bed with me, yes, actually. Anyway, go on. Half past three. So half past three, you left, you, you opened, you, you locked your door behind you, darling. Mm -hmm. And then where did you go? 
Uh, went to the railway station in Huntingdon. Huntingdon Shire railway station, yes. Yeah. Um, trained there at uh, 21 minutes to four. Right. Got on. Uh, was it very busy at that time? Um, yeah, it was quite packed. Really? Yeah. Where do they come from, all these people? They're obviously going into London, aren't they? They are, yeah. Commuting into London. Some of them must travel. Oh, I, I don't know how people can do that, sort of leave their houses at, oh, I don't know, presumably a lot earlier than you did. Some of them must mm. be leaving their houses half past two, three o'clock in the morning. Mm. I mean, a lot like, of them do sleep on that service. Do they? Mm. Well, they sleep next to you. Wait, no, not, not, to not next to me. No, I Wait, always make sure on, I've got a, a single seat. Get up! Do you have, isn't it awful? Sitting next to people with bad breath. Don't you hate that, love? That's on the that's, tube. That's why I insisted on brushing my teeth before we came up into the studio. Yes. Can you believe it? <sighs> <you see? sighs> Minty nice fresh spearmint breath. Colgate toothpaste. Colgate toothpaste. You just want a box of that now, don't yeah. you? Oh, you do. <laughs> Any other anything else happen on the um, train? No, got to King's didn't Cross. MP for hours on. Ten to, no, I didn't this morning because I thought did, I saved the battery you, for the way back. Did you hear anyone listening to my podcast? I wonder on that train. No. Oh, I did tune in earlier to to the station. I heard me and Travis actually. Oh yes, 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 so, yes, yes. Shows early that was when we don't have a live show and we play out uh, recordings of other people. It's very odd listening to yourself back though. Oh, when you when you're not there doing well, it, it's, it's very odd listening to you when I'm listening to you. Believe me. <laughs> So you got to London at what time? Uh, about ten to five, ten minutes early. So that's a so ten to four. So it's just over an hour's, hour's yeah. journey. Yeah. Okay. Where did you come into? Was it, is it Euston? Um, no, it's King's Cross. Oh, okay. So yeah. They've recently done that place up. As it, you know. I, it's, yeah. It looks awful it at ma- the moment. Oh, really? Yeah. They've, they've, they've inserted a new platform, Platform Zero. Why is that then? Who knows? Who platform knows what they're going to use it for? Not Platform. Four and three, what, 13, what, what's the one in Harry Potter? Oh, no, I don't watch that. Oh, you must. Read those books. Are you serious? Yeah, You've never, never seen, seen a Harry Potter film? Never. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Flying around on broomsticks, hitting that little gold thing with the wings. <laughs> Whatever that's, what's that called? Cru- crouton or something like that. I don't know what it is. Anyone know what that is? Do join in on the Skype. We've got Skype, boys and girls. Uh, United Kingdom Radio is our Skype username. Or oh, we've got email as well. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Any questions that you might like to ask the fabulous Terry Turner, Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. So you got to the station. Is that yep. where you had your first meal of the day? Well, I, I thought... Or did you have, not have something before you <laughs> left the house, dear? No. Oh. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, I, I did think about popping over to a, a well-known fast food place at King's Cross. Oh, don't do all that, BBC. Just say it, love. Say it. So and they they weren't open, so I thought, well, what, oh, McDonald's, yeah, yeah. So that's McDonald's handy. Did. So I, they didn't open till six, six thirty, something like well, that. Probably that's did ten you a favour. So, well, possibly. Mm-hmm. So I thought I'll go and find the the next part of the journey, which was the tube. Yeah. Um, and that's uh, going to Oxford Circus, on the uh, Victoria Line, onto the Bakerloo Line, up to Waterloo. Uh, You've had a fair old journey today, haven't that's you? That's not. T- that's easy. God. Nice and easy. But of course, the first tube on that particular line isn't half, until half past five. So half an hour waiting around. Oh, so what do you do? Buy a paper or something? No, no, I just walk up and down the platform. You don't need a paper. He's got the button. Just delve into your pocket. Ooh. It's all on the iPhone. Download. But no doubt you're downloading the sun or something dreadful like that. Occasionally. Or the, or Although that... this morning I did pick up a, um, the Metro. I oh, yeah, like the that, metro. that's quite good. That one comes out every morning. Yes. Yeah. We don't get that here, unfortunately. Not here in Royal Berkshire, dear. Well, no. Huh? Didn't you not have anything to eat at the station then? Um, a little croissant the house, no. ham and cheese roll, well, I BLT. Tell, I tell a lie, no, I did have a sausage roll. Ah, oh, you see? Sausage roll, I know it's caught oh, I going. wanted to see if Burger King was open, but they didn't open till half six. So oh, OK. I thought all these, but I would have surprised all these places aren't uh, open. I mean, it was quite busy as well, so you, you would think it would be open. Yeah, pretty early on. There we are. Um... Uh, Fag Ashlil is uh, messaging me in. She's in Hove. Have you ever been to Hove? No. Oh, it's nice. Not down that way yet. Very posh there. I've got to go soon. Yeah. She puts up. Are you, oh, so early, dear. It's only quarter past eleven. <laughs> hey. <laughs> As you're here, we're from my chiming clock. Have you, that is. Have you seen the chiming clock behind me? Look at it. It's the lovely, gold it? chiming clock. Very nice. QVC. Uh, I also 20 like years that phone up. box. Oh, do you like, yes? Oh, yes. Little things that I picked up as um, souvenirs in, in, in London. 
Um, I'll tell you why I've got, because I've got some few, vid they're not in view today, but, um, uh, you like that, don't you? Very nice. Has someone emailed in and said they found it really annoying? I can't remember who it was now. I think it was Mikey Holt. Oh, he's always got something to complain about, Mikey Holt. You sure it's the clock and not you? Oh, dear, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly. Little Mikey Holt. You know, I met him last week. Did you? Yes, because uh, he lives near my sister's house. Right. I say near my sister's house. It's about a 45 minute to an hour drive. And that's travelling at warp speed mm. through these. And, the, you know, the route from my sister's house to him is on little, little roads that are literally in the middle of fields. Yes. We'll be around that way. And it's lovely to see all the cows. I think they were cows. and Some of them looked like my exes, to be honest with you. <laughs> all the cows were doing, and passing wind all the time. It was a little, <laughs> little bit like listening to the Ross Pat Zelt show, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, so I met, met uh, Mikey Holt in, um, uh, in Grantham, outside the town hall there. And they've got one of those dreadful one-way systems. Oh, Oh, but actually, it wasn't too bad finding him at all. And uh, we went into Costa Coffee. Cost Costa, which is the correct term for it, I think. Costa Coffee. Listen, I had... A, and I said, oh, I'll buy you a drink. So I, I think Hang he on. chose... Yes. You've got your wallet out. I can't believe it, can you? Gosh. The Doesn't money came... Usually, I don't like to leave the house with money in well. case I accidentally spend it. Of course. You know, but I thought, oh, well, I, I thought to myself, out of the kindness of my heart, I thought, Mikey Holt won't have much money. So of I course. thought, oh, I'll buy the thing. So I said, go on, have, have what you want. Well, I mean, you must have chosen the most expensive thing in there, I think, dear. You know, you know, like when you take these these um, people out and uh, oh, have what you want. Oh, all right. And he looked, he's, <laughs> he, his eyes zoomed into oh, the menu. Yes. He said, where's, where's the thing? Yeah. I'm and uh, he had um, a large, um, of course, he couldn't have a small one. Mm. Yeah. Had to order a large chocolate, uh, or what is it, you know, the drink thing. Uh, chocolate, uh, chocolate drink, is that what it's called? I've no idea. I think it was a chocolate drink. And I had a tea. And I asked him if he didn't want, he didn't want anything to eat, which I, you know, I, I, I was a bit worried about him. He looks very thin. Mikey Holt, and I was tempted to immediately go out and buy ten bags of chips and force them down his throat. Because he needs to put on a bit of weight, that boy. Right. Um, anyway, we'll come to the chips in a minute. Uh, so I had that. And I also ordered a piece of, you know that caramel shortcake with the yep, chocolate on top? Yep, oh, yep. my God. How delicious is that? So I had a piece of that. So three items. How much do you think that comes to? Oh, I'm just kidding. I keep nudging you. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm sorry. Do you want me to put something in between our two arms? <laughs> oh, I don't do that. Um, Go on, how much do you think that cost? About 12 quid. Six, well, uh, 12 quid? It's Costa. 12 quid? <laughs> Have you gone mad? No, not at Two all. drinks and a bit of chocolate cake. Well, no. Six yeah. pounds. Mm. But I thought that was way over the top. I'll get you some Costa vouchers for Christmas. Six pounds for that. Not only that, here's the best bit. As I'm about to pay for it, Mikey Holt has produced... This loyalty card. I say, oh, could you put that through? Have you have you got one of these? I said, no. Oh, could you put that through the till as well, please? And he nicked my points. Wow. Thieving little thing he is. Don't blame him. And he sat there enjoying all this free chocolate, dear. Oh. Well, if, should we go out later? Yeah. Or oh, what have you got there? We'll go there. What's this? He's got a Starbucks cup. What is this? It's a gift voucher. A gift voucher. You're not telling me Starbucks now do, do... Why would you want to give someone a Starbucks gift voucher? Oh, that is just sad. Can you imagine getting that for Christmas? A Starbucks gift voucher. <laughs> you are having a laugh. No, not at all. Where'd you get that from then? Who gave you that? Uh, my sister. You seem to be a bit of a... A king of freebies, if you don't mind me saying so. You, you've got you always to, you? keep getting all this stuff through the post. How do you do that? Yeah. Are you are you you're watching? What's his name? That Martin bloke who does mm. the money. You, do you sign Martin up to Lewis, him? Yes, he's very good. Nice cheap train tickets. Yeah, as well. I like him. I like him. He's very good. Um, Fag actually always saying mm. here, could be a snitch, a snatch, or a snack. I, th I think it's a snack. He, well, I say a snack. I think he's had about four snacks already today, dear. 
Uh, and she says, I thought Ross was your special guest with this talk of sausage rolls. Good morning, <laughs> Mr. Turner. Oh, yay, morning, Chris. That's from Fag Ash Lil. Any message for Fag Ash Lil? Uh, good morning, and thank you very much for tuning in. Yes. Nice to hear from you again. She doesn't say much, dear, sometimes. No. I notice she calls in the other shows, but never mind. I don't know why that is. Would you know why that is? No. Just very shy, I think. Do you think she's worried she might not get the word in edgeways? Possibly. Possibly. I mean, uh, I'm, uh, I'm struggling. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we'll carry on. No, um, you carry on then. Now, what were you saying to me yesterday? Something about celebrating five years of your show? Ah, yes. Tomorrow, and I'd completely forgotten about it. Tomorrow, actually, the show's been going a little bit longer. Uh, but because I don't know the exact date, I was looking at my podcast. Now, the main podcast uh, site for this, boys and girls, is United Kingdom Talk. Dot co dot ua. There you can find all the shows going back from tomorrow, five years. We are five years old, to, and there's no show tomorrow, so either this or Saturday's show will be the closest. Now, I actually thought about purchasing a birthday cake and having it here and then going out. So, <laughs> so I'll just be back in a minute, Terry, and walking in with a birthday cake with candles, and I didn't get up early enough to do that, I'm afraid. So it's just I us sitting know. here. And this, this show is fine. I can't believe I've been talking non-stop for five years. You want to work that out per hour? Well, well, over the five years, how many, how many hours you've Oh, done? I don't know, because it's kind of changed. When I, when I first started, it was an hour show every mm. week. And then it went to two-hour shows a week. And then we built up to three-hour shows a week. And last year, I was having a few little problems and things. So, so we cut it down to three half-hour shows a week. And then I think that went to two half-hour shows a week. And then when we went live, we went back to one one-hour show a week. And now we're back up to three one-hour shows a week. So uh, that would be quite difficult to work out, I think, really. But um, can you just imagine playing them back? I wonder how many hours worth of programmes that would be. I mean, you could, if, if, if we ever go to war with anyone, <laughs> you know, then I do feel that, if you get prisoners, one of the ways to get them to talk is to lock them in a room and play my shows and keep them going, keep them on a loop. Better still put them on Radio 4 Longwave. Has <laughs> so anyone got Longwave anymore? Yeah. Have anyone got Longwave? Do you listen on Longwave? Occasionally. There used to be a um, commercial music station called Atlantic 252. I remember that. Yeah. Whatever happened to them, I don't know. Uh, my friend did a show on there. Um, what was his name? I can't remember his name. I was on uh, Liberty Radio with him. Uh, he did the breakfast show on there. Yeah, I can't think what his name was now. Anyway, go back to your journey. So, you were at the uh, King's Cross, was it? Yeah. yeah King's yeah. Cross Station. You had a sausage sandwich there. Sausage yeah. roll. Sausage well, roll. A sausage roll at oh, Waterloo. Sausage rolls. Now, what is it that makes those take? Because, I mean, I don't dare think of what those things are made out of. Mm. What is it that makes sausage rolls so delicious? And what a wonder, we, we love them. We love sausage rolls. What is it that makes them so delicious? I don't know, but I wasn't, impre I wasn't that impressed with one I had this morning. I do like the ones from Greg's. Oh, Greg's, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We have a Greg's here. You shouldn't have told me that. Oh, yes, we have it. Well, you, no, because you'll be... I'm taking him, I'm taking him out to Peter Hut. Don't tell everyone, they'll all want to come. Peter, or, you, or, you, or we can get a takeaway from Domino's. What would you prefer? I, I'm easy. Whatever I, I'd heard that. I have Who heard from? that. <laughs> from Ross? Oh, from all of them. <laughs> They're all saying the same thing. Right. Oh, Fag Ashley says, can't call in today as I'm dazzled by how dapper Mr. Turner looks putting you in the shade today, Mr. Reardon. Do I need to put... A do I need to put a tie and a jacket on? I've got ties and jackets. I can't remember the last time you had a tie on. Oh, that was a it long time happen. ago. I did, did occasionally yeah. wear a tie, didn't I? Yeah. So tell me, continue with your journey. We're at King's Cross Station. We're now searching for the underground. Continue. Yeah, no search for the underground. That was perfectly fine. Because I knew exactly what lines I wanted, where I was going. Yeah. Um, so Victoria Line to... Uh, Oxford Circus. What time was this then? Uh, just after half five, the first tube of the day. And what were the tubes like? Is there many people waiting for uh, that first Three one? or four. So not many? No. Fairly empty. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, change at Oxford Circus to Bakerloo Line, mm. to Waterloo. 
Uh, I think that's about four stops up. And okay. then um, get off, go and find my way to a, well, what I hoped perhaps to be a McDonald's or a, a Burger King, but as I said, your, neither, your neither entire open. life seems to be seems to be looking for these well, burger shops. Better, better to look than eat. How many cows have laid down their <laughs> lives for you? I wonder. <laughs> eh? Quite a few. <laughs> um, so there was that. Uh, yeah. I just went and had a sausage roll from somewhere else. Oh, so that's two sausage rolls now. Just the one. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Come, come on, keep I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not following that. Continue. Anyway, and then um, went through to Platform 19 at Waterloo. Right. And yeah. got on the train. Yeah. And that was it. And Lots then you were here. Yes. So what time did you get to Bracknell? It was, was about um, half past eight, wasn't I it? I think actually it was about eight o'clock. Yeah, you... Oh, were you? Mm, about and, eight o'clock. And you didn't text me. Oh, don't no, tell don't me like you were to... sitting on that bench. I don't like to... No, I had a bit of a walk. Because I've, I've been here before, you see. So. Oh, have you? Yeah, a long oh. time ago. About two years ago. Oh, what was that for? Because <laughs> they had they had a little radio station here. Yes. Oh, yeah. dreadful name, Hug FM. I I don't know who came up with that name, Hug FM. Why can't they just call it Radio Bracknell, Hug FM? It's awful, isn't it? It's not too bad. Oh, it's it? just awful, awful. So you got here about eight o'clock. Where did you walk around the town? Uh, yeah, a little little nothing under the past, isn't it? No. Didn't you notice the calf over the over the, in the bus station? No. Oh my God! There's a greasy spoon calf oh. over there. You could have had sausage egg, but oh, I tell you what, I tell you what, I will give you a choice of meals today to have after you've done whatever you're doing to the computer. Here. Um, you can have either a pizza from Pizza Hut, a pizza from Domino's, or a Morrison's full English breakfast with toast and tea. And there's a choice. You have 15 seconds. Da, 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 I da, think da, we should have our listeners and viewers decide. Da, 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 da. Hey? She was on the telly the other day. Who was who? that one who used to do the cards? Carol Vorderman. Oh, she's not happy, dear. Oh, she's not happy. Oh, oh, I think it was terrible the way that I was treated. If Richard was here, still here, it would never have happened. Oh, she's not she happy. She wanted so here. much money, though, didn't Carol she? Carol Vorderman. How many thousands of pounds do these people want for adding up a few numbers? I mean, I've got a calculator here that can do that. Yeah. Thousands yeah. of pounds for adding up numbers. Did you watch, did you watch Countdown? I used to. I used to be a big fan of it when Richard Whiteley was doing it. Mm. Oh, he was But since, since they keep changing everyone... Yeah. Just lost interest. My mother was a huge fan of Countdown. Mm. We was watching a bit of telly this morning, weren't we? Yes. Yes, we were watching um, this morning, and oh God, she was on there. Go on, say that, say that I'm... Holly oh, Willoughby! Oh, God's sake, the awful, uh, the awful Holly Willoughby. Have you seen how she sits in the chair? She's sitting there, like, pushing her chest out and her bum. <laughs> well, I was watching her, and they were interviewing someone I do like. I do quite like him. Go on. The Prime Minister. David Cameron. David Cameron. Come a bit closer. You're, you're coming out of view there. We're, we're going to sit as close as the people do on daybreak. Oh, Oh, yes. God. Which is just getting worse and worse. This, uh, this is, uh, those of you who are outside the UK, daybreak is one of the morning shows here in the UK on ITV. And the, the company spent a, a fortune on this programme, and it's just not happening. It really isn't. We've got the ever so... Well, I've spoken about him many times before. The ever... Or, Always miserable Adrian Charles. And uh, who's that other one? Christine, Christine Blakely. Christine Blakely, who is actually quite... I quite like her, but there's something wrong with it. Mm. There's something wrong with that format, and I can't put my finger on it. Yeah. Interestingly enough, uh, the BBC's breakfast programme has got almost twice as many as it viewers as well. And the show's completely different. It's actually quite mm. a serious show. And that's what surprised me, because it's, it's certainly not as relaxed as the one on ITV. No. And yet, why is that now the preferred programme for anyone? Do you know? You watch a bit of Breakfast Telly, um, do you? Yes, yeah, I do. And I, I, I sometimes wonder if it's down, again, with radio, down to the presenters. Right, OK. Yeah, I mean, there, there is a chemistry between mm. them. They always... All sort of look like they're getting on. Yeah. Like us, we get on very well. I feel that we could do something like that. Perhaps we could do the BBC Two version. And no, BBC what, Three. Now, what I I can think of a few names. If if you and I are hosting, <laughs> it, we could call it the Big Sausage Sandwich. <laughs> you know, 
or Full English Breakfast. How's that? That's a good name for it. Yeah. Now, when you could tell he's starting up his own internet radio station, music station, um, and you could call your breakfast show the Full English Breakfast. Do you like that? I you like that, don't you? That you you like that, it. don't you? There will be a small fee that if you oh, require of course, to do that. Of course. Anyway, back to uh, this morning, and we were watching the awful, the dreadful Hollow Willoughby, who I can't stand. And Philip Schofield gets on my nerves as well. Now, I used to like him as a child, but I think there was a point about a year or so ago where he just seemed to be on almost every programme that was mm -hmm. on. And I think that's what, what's put me off him a bit, really. He's, um, don't watch the programme, then. He's No, I don't... <laughs> I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't dislike him, mm. but it was just, it was just a bit of overkill, really. Yeah. I mean, I know these people are expensive, you know, he's probably on a lot of money, and they have to, like, get their money's worth, um, and what have you, but I get fed up seeing the same person all the time yeah. on the telly. Yeah, um, And he's back on, is it this Saturday, doing The Cube? Sunday. That's a strange, it's a bit of a strange show. It that. is, but very entertaining at the same time. Yeah, the the, the little things that they get people mm. to do and what have you. Um, you should try something like that. Do you think so? Yeah. Be on, oh no, I'd be no good at any of that. I am I am not very good at all these sort of things. I stick to my gardening. Of course you have visited my tomato plants yes. this morning, haven't you? Very nice. Coming to the end of their little lives, bless their hearts. Soon they will be withering and weeping away and drooping. <laughs> they will be drooping, boys and girls. My tomato plants have given their all. They have seen the best part of their lives. And they are now in terminal decline, I'm afraid, boys and girls. And you saw my drawer? My drawer <laughs> full of ripening tomatoes. Yes. I might even... Do you like tomatoes? I do. Would you like to sample one? On I here? would love to. Shall I go and get one from downstairs Why and not? sample one of my tomatoes? How fabulous. Can you manage to talk for a couple of minutes? Probably not. Oh. I'm not used to all this stuff, you know. Well, tell us more about your journey while I go down and what we've got so far as the back and, and, and t carry on. See what I have to put out with us? Yeah. Go, off you go then. You could tell. Have you got to us? What? Got what? Bag what? Down what? There. I, yes, I have got a bag. bag. He's bought me a present. Well, go on, carry on. Well, a present. You say Keep a present. Don't swear. I'll try. Um, anyway, now I've got a little little gift here for Chris because obviously he's celebrating his uh, fifth year doing this show. So it's not very exciting, I have to say, but I think he'll enjoy it. I hope he'll enjoy it. He's just going outside now. Um, so anyway, yes, email us. <laughs> Uh, and if you really like this show, and if you really like me, then tune in tomorrow night, Friday, uh, between 8 and 9, where I'll be uh, here with uh, Travis Mitchell. We'll have our quiz, and we're going to give you the chance to win an internet radio. And I'll get Chris to explain a little bit more about that in just a few minutes' time. Here he comes, look. Come on, dear. I'm coming. Dear Ed, how long does it take to go and get something out of the garden? I've washed it for you. Oh, that's what you were doing. I've washed it all one of... A little cherry tomato. I've bought oh, one of the small oh, ones fabulous. in for you. And a glass of water, just in case you're sick. Oh, lovely. <laughs> it's all here, to There's a bin next to you, just in case it all goes horrendously wrong. Oh, is there? There we are, yeah. Well, it's here somewhere. <laughs> well, go on then, eat it oh, and tell me what you think of it. I'm it, waiting for you to eat it and give your comments on my on my grown on my on my uh, on my produce I did actually go up to the large Sainsbury's up the road and ask them if they would be interested in you know uh, selling my produce and they said um, well how much have you got I saw about three bags worth and they didn't seem to be interested uh, you see you should expand this and try Dragon's Den well I mean they they put on their thing that they support local businesses and all that I tried to sell them a couple of bags of tomatoes and they weren't interested. Wow. Please Never themselves, good, that's it now. Go on then. Well, whilst I'm trying this, I'm going to give you this bag. Oh, yes. Now, this is, it's for you, but you can, Thank you me. can have it as a little gift oh, for the show. Oh, it's not very heavy. I thought it was that Robert Stream right? Um, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that I'm not that to... generous. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, it, it, oh, it, it's a piece of tissue paper. <laughs> Oh, you've heard that I steal toilet rolls from my places of employment, haven't you? So he's bought me some um, 
what are these called now? These ki kitchen ki roll. Kitchen roll. Kitchen roll on top. Oh, look at this. How wonderful. Packets of Walkers. Cheese on a... Listen to those. Oh, is there, is there any better sound in the world than listening to packets of Walkers? Not just one multi-pack. Oh, no. Not just two multi-packs. <laughs> but three multi-packs of Walkers, cheese and onion crisps. Oh, and something else in the bottom there. What's this? Oh, that's just a... Uh... <laughs> People, that's what makes London. <laughs> that's what makes McDonald's. It's a McDonald's... What, a games maker. What is that, then? Something to do with the Olympics I picked up in McDonald's. The games makers are the volunteers who helped to make London 2012 happen. Oh, thank you very much for these quick... Is that something at the bottom there? Oh, no, it's the bottom of the bag. <laughs> thank you very much. So that should keep you going. Turn. Should we have a bag now? No. Not well, whilst not... we're doing a show. Do you know my very mouth is watering like mad now, thinking about these, you naughty person. You shouldn't have bought these in before we started. Thank you very much, Terry. I've actually got another uh, uh, envelope to, to open here. Now, this is something I ordered off the internet. Uh, right. Uh, uh, have you any idea what it is? Shape and size. It'll either be <laughs> so it's a vinyl like record that, yes. or, or some sort of pic picture frame or something like that. Picture frame. Let me get my letter opener. This is something I ordered from eBay the other day. Uh, your first right, actually, it is, an, it is a piece of vinyl. Dog. Oh, is it? Yes, it is. And on here... Is it very rare? Yes. I think it is actually yes, Ooh. yes. But although I must say I don't, um, I'm not a record collector. If you see what I mean. Over the years, I think as I've grown up, there are certain records that I've heard, and then as you get older, and then you don't hear them anymore. Mm. And you haven't got them. And there's a couple of little bits and pieces I always looking for. And if a tune drops into my head, I will see if I can find it. And. It used to be a show on the BBC. Hang on, let me open it and then you'll probably laugh when you see what it is. It is, it is a music album. Well, it's very, um, it's very well packaged, actually, isn't it? This is off someone from, you have to. from eBay, I think this is. Oh, dear. Right, man. Do be careful. I've got a pair of scissors here. I do hope that you've got, I've got a parent with you or someone older. Well, if you're going to use scissors at home, boys and girls, okay? Thank you. Well, that's what they always say on Blue Peter. You all love this, Terry. I don't know if this will be yours or not, to be honest. Well, well I'm dying to see it. Come on, get into there it. There we are, Terry. Hell, what does that say? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, Go on, read it out. Read it out, Tess. Valdunican. <laughs> oh, dear, <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> So my best friends are songs. Is that right? Yeah. It's the Val Dunican LP. So, and there's a song on there. It was the opening to his um, TV show on the BBC. Because he had a BBC music show for 25 years. Do you know that? No, well, I'm not really a Val Dunican fan, to oh, be honest. Really? Oh, I've got loads of Val Dunican I could play you here. Oh, dear. Well, leave that till the show's finished, OK? Uh, and one of the songs on here We're is... carrying on today. Some, some of my best friends are songs. Uh, and, and that's how it used to start the show. Some of my best friends are songs. Da, da, da. Some of them old ones, some of them new. Da, 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 da. All of them waiting with nothing to do but share a few moments with you. Da, 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 da. Some of my best friends are songs da 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 and then the orchestra would strike up do 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 and then the credits would come out the Val Dunican in his signature music show do 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 da 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 and then there'd be those backing singers some of my best friends Ah, uh, songs. And then it would go into the show. <laughs> what? Sing any more. We need to pay royalties on it. Oh, I love it, dear. <laughs> My wonderful... All I need to do now... You see, I don't actually have, as you can see here... You don't have a turntable set up. I don't have a vinyl turntable set up. 
So literally what I have to do is get the one out of the spare room and set it up and, and, and play it, and I shall MP3. Have you not thought about getting a, um, a USB turntable? Yeah, I've seen those. Well, I mean, I've got a good technique, so I've got one left. I got rid of the other one. Um, uh, and it's not too much of a problem to... I, I could set one up in here. Mm. But as you can see, we're a little bit fighting for space at the moment in here now. <laughs> you know, Just a bit. Way. Well, anyway, so we saw um, David Cameron on the television yes. this morning. Do you, do, are you a David Cameron fan or, or not? I was before the election. Right. Not necessarily so now. And why is that? Um, I just think he's changed a lot. and He's obviously had a lot of things going on. Is it the grey hair you don't like now? Yes. He's had a... Cool, he's been up and down like a yo-yo. His father died, which is mm. just an awful thing to have your parents die. Um... And then a little boy was born. Was it a, is it a boy or a Well, a child. Uh, okay, I don't, yeah. I don't know what it was. Child, uh, he had a little child that was born. And they become leader of the party. And then I wonder what it's like, though, to kind of win something and then have to share it. Mm. That must be quite difficult, I would have thought. Yes. What is it in particular you don't like? Uh, or is it just a general thing, really? Just general. Really, um, he seems nice enough. Yeah. He seems to know. We seems to know what what he wants to do with the country. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope he can lead us through it. Yeah, he looks all right on the telly, though, doesn't he? Yes. Although the camera work, <laughs> I knew this was coming. Oh. Well, I mean, did you see it? I don't know who was working. That it wasn't so much the camera work. He he was sitting on the on the uh, a sofa this morning on on the, this morning, literally two minutes before we came up to the studio to do our show today, and. They had two cameras on him. One was like right close to his face, mm. and the other one was was a shot that was him sitting on the settee. And someone was pushing a button, and it would go into him and then come out, and then go in and then come out. I thought this was making me dizzy. Holly Willoughby was sitting there with a complete blank smile on her face mm. as usual, and Philip Philip Schofield he actually looked angry at one point yeah. while he was talking to him. Did you notice mm. that? Um, because he's got to make all these cuts, because, of course, we owe all this money. And I don't know how you feel about that, but I'll tell you how I feel. Um, elderly people, leave them alone. Okay, Disabled people, leave them alone. Benefit people, now, they need to be looked at. Mm. Those that can work and don't want to. Although, having said that, I know there are people in certain parts of the country... Um, that want to work and they just cannot get a job. I know many people who have been trying to get a job and they can't even get a job in a bar, mm. let alone anything else. So it must be difficult for them. Um, but I do agree with the thing, you know, we can't just keep borrowing and borrowing and borrowing money. I mean, the interest that's got to be paid mm. on this is unbelievable. Huge. You know, so I do agree with... The fact that cuts have got to be made. But where from, you see? You know, probably the places that I think could be saving money, you will say, well, no, I think this should... And that's that's what he's got to do. He's got to decide which places. One of the things that I think certainly with the councils, and, and I saw this story the other day, is some of the councils are turning off the street lamps yes. at night. Now, when I drive home, admittedly, sometimes it's very, very early in the morning. Um, you know, there, there are certain parts and you think, God, it's bright here. And it really is almost like daylight. Yeah. Yeah. And when I'm on the motorway, there are no lights. And my headlights are good enough. You know, I could still travel along the motorway quite safely at 70 mile an hour with my headlights on. So why... Have we got all these lights on now? Of course, the road safety people would say to you, you know, oh, but there will be more accidents and all mm. this business. But quite frankly, I think sometimes you have to decide yourself what's safe and what's not safe. You can't be mollycoddled all the time and covered in cotton wool in case you have an accident. Oh, let's put those lights on. Let's put a barrier up here. Let's do this. Let's do that. You know, oh, and... Uh, you know, if it, a lot of the time it's because someone has been stupid. They knew that if they were going to take the, that sharp corner at 100 mile an hour, there was a chance that they would end up in a ditch, possibly dead. 
right? It's your fault. Why should we all have to pay for stupidity like that all the time? It's true. Now, you wonder why I talk so much. You're not saying anything, Jeff. (laughs) Don't be shy. (laughs) Speak up. Yeah, that is true. I mean, it's certainly in our area Mm. they're starting to turn them off. Oh, really? Which is, uh, it's good because I don't get the shine in the bedroom now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) Oh, did you get that all the time? I don't know what you're complaining about, Jeff. Oh, how wonderful. I wish I had that here. Wouldn't have to turn on my lights. <laughs> How wonderful. Well, look, can you believe this? Last night, I can't believe this morning I got up after being asleep for less than usual because you woke me up. Mm. Uh, six hours, right? The kitchen light was on. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Five hours that's been on today. So, boys and girls, that means we've had to cancel the Saturday show. <laughs> 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 to save on the electricity. Oh dear. I tell you, I'll, give you, I'll give you 10p for the meter. <laughs> Are there any ways that you'd like um, austerity measures? I like that word, don't you? Austerity measures. I'm going to have to take some myself. Austerity measures. <laughs> Not really. In fact, I know I said I was going to buy you lunch, but we were actually going to share it. So if we have the full English breakfast, you sit one side of the table, I'll sit the other and we'll have half a plate each. I was thinking, it was half a sausage each. <laughs> uh, how, would you, how would you go about saving money? Um, what, what would you save it on or, or, or don't you know? Really? I'd probably do the same as, as David Cameron. I'll, I'll certainly look at them at least. Another pen that doesn't work to him. How annoying is that? Oh, where's the bin gone? Right, so so what what things would you save it on? You know, say you know I've, you've, you you you're in charge of the money now, okay? What are you going to save money on? Um, I think you you do have to look at pensioners, but I think pensioners should get more money rather than less. Yeah. Um, certainly, the benefits issue with them it's a huge thing, but there's this trap where um, you got to if you get a job, you've got to be earning more then you're getting on benefits. Mm. Because obviously you still get all your, your council tax and everything like that to pay for out of your wages as well as what you'd normally be getting. Yes. Mm. And I think that's the trouble. A lot of people are in that trap at the moment. What, the, f- the fact that they're getting more benefit than, than they can on? Yeah. Is the answer to that to reduce the benefit? I mean, I'm not, you know, would the ben- in, in my mind, the benefit thing was to... Allow people to survive, mm. but that's about it. Yeah. But when you see these stories of the telev- on the on the telly and you know in the papers, you know, they are surviving, mm. and they also subscribe to the full package of Sky oh, Television. Yeah. yeah. They've got a car of sorts out the front, mm. a fifty-inch plasma, an Xbox three hundred and sixty, and a Wii. And I'm thinking, well, if you've got all that, mm. you're getting too much money. Yeah. And that's that's how I feel about it. Mm. Um, I think I, I think there's too, too, the benefits are too high. Mm. It's it's very difficult though, and everyone's personal circumstances will be different. Yeah. For example, take me. I think if you was to take all this radio stuff away, I actually have a very very cheap. It's a word cheap simple. Mm. I think I've got a fairly simple lifestyle. You know, I don't actually spend much at all. I don't want for a flash car or a great big house or horrendously expensive holidays or five-star hotels. I don't want for any of these things. I'm quite happy to book into a cheap hotel or, you know, have a car that gets from A to B. Yeah. You know, so many of my friends, and, and, you know, things don't bother me. And I've talked this about this on the car, uh, on the show. Um, dent, dents in a car door. It's fine. What's the problem? Mm. Aren't you going to have that fixed? Well, why? Cost me £400 yeah. to have that dent pulled out. Yeah. Why do I need to spend £400 on repairing a little scratch? And, you know, if it's deep enough, I'll go out and buy roughly the same paint and yeah. do it over like that. It's just I think people have been bought up to, to just spend, spend, mm. spend now. I don't know why that is. What about you? What's your lifestyle like? Um, I mean, you clearly like to eat burgers a lot. 
So Terry is known as, <laughs> I named him a few years ago, Terry the Burger Turner, didn't I? You did indeed. <laughs> but you, you do, did. you do like your food, don't you? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah well, you've got to enjoy something, haven't you? Do you do any cooking yourself? <laughs> a small amount. I mean, I remember your friend Gavin. Oh, dear, yes. Because those, those, when, when was it I visited you? 2000 about and, eight years ago. About eight years ago. Yeah. And I went round his house and uh, his friend Gavin was <laughs> was doing cooking. And uh, I always remember him coming out of the kitchen, holding this grill. He said, oh, I think the sausages are burnt. <laughs> and these, this sausage meat was black, wasn't it? It was. Oh, talking of and food. Thick plumes of smoke. There was thick plumes of smoke while he was doing a radio show as well yeah, at the same yeah. time. Oh, dear. I was talking about um, uh, Mikey Holt. Sorry, I, 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 we didn't finish that bit, did we? Yeah, so Mikey, so he's got his cards out and collecting his... Is bonus points. What a cheek on on the money I spent on the ball. Oh, you got to. What a liberty. Good lad. So we then went over and uh, sat outside the um, town hall for a while. And um, I said, what are you having for lunch? And he said, well, I'll get some... Oh, I said, I'll have some chips. He said, these are the best chips in town. So he took me to a chip shop there. And uh, I ordered these chips. And uh, so I gave him some chips. And, uh, and very, very tasty chips. Very, very tasty. So you've got a chip shop in the Huntington Uh We've got uh, numerous chip shops. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But there's only one decent one. Ah. Are they so. the proper chips, not those awful McDonald's things? No, no, proper chips. Okay. Proper chips. Mm. But the, if you want really good chips, you'll need to go to uh, Great Yarmouth. Well, it's a long way to go. It's for, a long for way a to bag go. Of chips, but they're lovely. Oh, dear. But uh, we were so talking they... about this on last Friday. Show me the. Chips, are they better in a cone or in a tray? Yeah. And more importantly, what's that face for? <laughs> and more importantly, oh. they always used to taste better in old newspaper, didn't they? Yes, that, well, they certainly did. Or wrapped in paper. Uh, I'm really not uh, keen on um, uh, chips in the plastic trays. Mm. Don't mm. like those at all. They seem to sweat the chip. Not yeah. so bad in a cone. And the other thing you don't want to do, when you get a, pack, a, a packet of chips, if you're carrying them home, mm. do not put them in a plastic, in, wrapped oh, in a bag, yeah. and then in a plastic bag, yeah. because they just sweat. Mm. They do start sweating. Now, we might have a call coming in from a uh, young Wayne. Um, I don't know, really. Let, let's just um, push the button there. He said he might call in. So we'll, we'll call in. Hello. Hello, Wayne. How are you? All right? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you enjoying, very much. How are you? Enjoying young Terry. Oh, there he is. It's, look <laughs> at that. He's got his little picture. Look at him with his little headset on. That looks like it's come from Argos, doesn't it? Dear I am um, lucky, actually, because uh, I was then watching the stream and suddenly came up with uh, the call. I thought, ah! <laughs> so uh, I had to quickly switch off here, so that didn't Hello, Wayne. Good, good to see you. Nice little pleasure. Are they blinds? Have you got blinds there? No, those are new curtains that my uh, my dad got me for my birthday. Yeah, who got them? Uh, my dad did. Oh, very um, nice indeed. Yes. I, I like Hi, to look. Away. <laughs> I like to look around people's houses as well, Wayne. Uh, you, what have you got on there? CDs behind you, and in that little little um, yeah, uh, build CDs yourself shelf that got looks my like it's come from IKEA in a rack as well. Yeah, yeah. CDs and everything else. Yeah. Nice little place. You could do with a bit of tidying up, though, if you don't mind me saying so, Wayne, don't you think, Terry? Just a little bit. Well, that's why I've got these racks. Um, the racks aren't in there at the moment, but I'm I'm gradually putting stuff in racks and keeping them tidy. So, oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> this is the worst room, because I, I do everything in this room. So, yeah. Well, almost everything. I know what so you mean. Go on, Terry. Well, when Wayne's finished clearing up there, and come here. Yeah, you, we could do with a bit of tidying up in here. <laughs> it is really, I mean... Look at the shelves next to me here. Look. Yeah, but you see, that's out of shot. That's Can fine. you see that? Look, Doctor Who. Oh, no. The end of time. My yes. sister bought me that. Do you like Doctor Who? Um, not, I'm not a great fan. No, I'm more of a Star Wars fan than a Doctor Who oh, fan. Not, no, not no. Star Wars. Star Trek, I'm afraid. No. What did you oh, make yeah? of the new series? Oh. Of Doctor Who? With, um, Matt, with Matt um, Smith. I don't mind Matt. I can't stand that Amy Pond. Oh, she <laughs> winds me up something chronic. Do you, do you, he, Wayne doesn't watch Doctor Who, do you? Can't nope. stand Amy Pond at all. She really gets on my nerves. What about um, Merlin? You like Merlin, don't you, Terry? I saw a little bit of it on Saturday. Yeah. Wayne? Um, I, I like the film. Um, what's the guy's name in that? That's, that's, um, 
uh, someone, Neil, is it Sam Merlin Neil? Merlin the film? Yeah, there's Merlin film. I think oh, it was I Sam Neil, the Australian guy. I didn't and, know uh, that. I'll make a little note of that. I might try and get that on DVD. I didn't know there was such a thing. Merlin yeah. film. You, you know the guy who was in um, uh, that um, dinosaur film? One of our Something dinosaurs Park. is missing. Jurassic Park? Jurassic Park. The Sam old Neil guy or the young guy? the guy in that, the paleontologist or whatever he is. The old guy? The, yeah, the old, well, not the old, old guy. Oh, the young um, sort of, the young guy, Sam Neill. I can't think You'll of know that. him when you see him anyway. Yeah, I can't think of that. Right, here's a question for you. Are you ready? Uh -oh. So you've yep. got all the government money. Yep. I want you to save 40%. What are you going to cut? Right, well, I'll get rid of half the politicians in the Lords and uh, get rid of the Lords right. and make the Commons bigger um, and I'd just keep the existing... Uh, I, I would half what they got in the Lords, half what they got in the Commons um, and make one big, uh, one big place and uh, anything that they voted for would have to have a 90% margin to be fully accepted okay. and then you wouldn't need two houses then. So and you wouldn't need so many politicians. So that, that's the politicians. What about what about in general for the rest of us? Because you'll have to cut some something from other other people. I I would I would be firm but fair. Right. Anything in um, particular? And I think that is what David Cameron initially tried to do to be firm but fair. But obviously everyone's feeling the the crunch at the moment. Well, I, I, they keep talking about everyone feeling the pinch. Yeah. I've been walking around for days now, and no one has pinched me. Uh, well, it's maybe disappointing, you just need to, to wiggle your bum a little bit more, Chris. Eh? Maybe you just need to wiggle your bum a bit more. <laughs> maybe someone will pinch you. <laughs> I might try that this afternoon in, in either Pizza Hut or Morrison's or wherever we're going to. Uh, do you get your bum did pinched? You, did you know I actually got something through while the, the show started? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. And there's... I got loads of these money off vouchers. Oh yeah. But yeah. now, now the the um, one of these places, which you mentioned on on the website that yes. you might go to, they're actually offering um, cheese now with a third reduced fat in in the cheese. Oh and no! I, I know that you look after your weight oh. and that you're very weight conscious. So I thought I'd just mention that. Cause Wayne, I'm, I've got to tell you, I've had that reduced fat cheese and it is vile. It is oh, as right. dry as anything, mate. <laughs> Don't touch it. And oh, there was... I, yeah, I wanted you to know I was thinking of you. you know, so. <laughs> there, there, uh, you're quite right. I do look for things with reduced fat. Do, do you tell I, I don't bother. You don't bother. I, I, I t <laughs> if I go to the supermarket... If I go to the supermarket, I buy all the basic stuff. Although that's rising in price. It's cheaper yes, just to buy... Yes, it does look dear, in, in, certainly in the shops at the mm. moment. Um, I was in... Um, Marks and Spencer's Wayne uh, in um, where was it? I was visiting my friend Ron on Tuesday in um, somewhere in the city, a big Marks and Spencer's in the food. And one one little thing of blueberries, three pounds fifty. Mm. Wow! And I no, I'm not buying those. He said, "Oh, John, go on, just buy them." He says, "Yeah, you can." I said, "There's nothing to do with it." I think there comes a point where you know they're taking the mick out of you. Uh, uh, yeah, and that's it, really. And I do have a question for you, Chris, yes. which I have noticed. Is your favourite colour red, perhaps? Because I'm noticing that you present most shows with the colour red. No, green. On your shirt. Green. Green. Okay, green. now you've probably said that over the last five years yeah. on one of your shows or many times, but I've picked up that recently you've, more, you've had more red well, than well, anything else. Well, I think that's because we're coming towards Christmas, Wayne. I'm oh, I see. Trying to get in the Christmas colours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Well, thank you very um, much. Nice to talk to you, Wayne. Okay, well, you take really care, Really nice Chris. to talk to you, my friend, all right? Yeah, take care, Terry. Thank Wayne, you. Bye-bye. <laughs> there we are, Wayne. It was nice to talk to him. I think that's the first time I've spoken to him on the show. Terry, it's time for us to go. Is it? Yes, it is. It's 12 o'clock already. Can Gosh, you believe it? Dinner time. I feel like I've hardly said a word. I really have. <laughs> Well, when can we hear you here on uh, United Kingdom Radio, Terry? Uh, Friday. Do you know right. Do you know what's in the show yet, or do you sort of leave it to the last um, minute? I leave it to the last minute. A little bit about the journey and stuff I've noticed. 
Oh no, you're not going to give away my deep darkest secrets, are you? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, obviously the quiz and uh, that chance to win the radio. Fair enough. Well, thank you very Sorry. much for coming. No, thank and you. I shall now buy you lunch. Just before you go, have you decided no. which of my offers to I take haven't. up? Well, I'll let I, you. I think you're quite. I think you're heading towards the Morrison's one, aren't oh, you? Oh no, you I mustn't. Think you are. I will not push you in any direction that you don't want to be pushed. Oh shame. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back with you on Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock UK time here on unitedkingdomradio.co.uk. All right, 3 o'clock UK time, Saturday afternoons, unitedkingdomradio.co.uk. Terry is on unitedkingdomradio.co.uk on Friday nights at... 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock UK time with your little sidekick, Travis yes. Mitchell, who's at school at the moment. OK, thank you very much for watching and listening. Do join in by email if you're watching a recording of the show. The email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk From Terry Thank you very much and see you soon And from us. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.